Hi Capricorn, welcome to my channel. My name is Kem. Today, Capricorn, you guys got Swan Spirit time for a deep dive number 60. There's something here, Capricorn, that as hard as it is to like talk about, as hard as it is to like look at, you have to look at it. That's what I'm getting here. And I feel like you're it's like there's an opposing view here right deep down there's something here that you really desire with the stars but in order to get to that you have to cut out whatever this is so this could be doubt or fear of people it's like people telling you you can't do this this could be like you yourself saying like oh i can't have this i'm not good enough for this or um that person will never take me they're too like good looking like i just feel like dumb shit being put as an excuse as to why you cannot have your dreams because the stars talks about your dreams your you know aspirations your desires and then you know you have this whip here so they're kind of like you have to cut something out in order to obtain this but what is it is it a negative mentality is it like your own family telling you like you can't do something when you, that's what you really desire again is it you or someone else you know like is it you putting down your head in fear or is it somebody else or is it a cumulative like both of you guys i'm just getting here that it's time to really go deep you have a lot of sixes here yeah it's like there's something that you love and there's something that you desire and something that you want and deep down you can't like fight that but i wonder like what this whip is again what do you have to cut out in order to get to this dream well, let's pull more cards capricorn So Capricorn, you're sitting at a five right now, which is a challenge, which is a conflict. You know, you're sitting here contemplating if you can pull this off. That's what I'm getting. If you can pull something off, if you could go towards something. For some of you, it's something that you're aspiring, like that you want really bad. But you keep it very deep down. You keep it very in your subconscious because, again, maybe some, maybe you've spoken about it once or twice to someone you felt comfortable with, but you don't like really talk about it because you don't feel safe talking about it. You know what I mean? So all these thoughts are kind of kept hidden from everyone because, again, um, you don't feel safe talking about it. And I get here that the people around you are pretty harsh. There's a Queen of Swords here. I don't think this is you. A Queen of Swords could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. And this is someone who is very harsh, but, you know, not in a positive way. Like, the Queen of Swords upright is harsh, but she speaks the truth, right? She tells you, like, you know, the truth of the matter, even though it is, like, hard to hear. The Queen of Swords in reverse is someone who will tell you, you know, their truth and what they believe but they could be manipulative in a sense you know they could be highly manipulative in that like what they say is to assure that their own plans you know what i mean so it's like you know i want to go get ice cream and then this person will be like we know my stomach really hurts i really just would rather stay home i feel like their stomach wouldn't doesn't hurt it's just the fact that they don't want to go so they'll lie about it do you get what i'm saying that's the queen of swords in reverse someone who will say anything to get their way because they're the, they're the ones that want to be in control so they'll manipulate you and i'm getting here capricorn that you've been dealing with this person for such a long time that's, this is the person in the back of your mind anytime you try to like move in any direction so this could be a mother this could be a spouse this could be anybody um i'm getting like two storylines i'm getting like so for some of you this person is like a mom for others of you this is like a spouse or a boyfriend or girlfriend and for others of you this is like um I don't know like just somebody that you don't feel safe telling your ideas to because again um this person will always put it make it about themselves you know what i mean it's always about them and you're just not comfortable saying what you feel anymore so like again these dreams that you have are hidden you're not talking about your dreams to anyone because you're scared of especially this person you know 
but I see here that you have a lot of heart and you have a lot of desire for whatever it is that you want so for some of you it's a person that you want to go towards and you're scared for others of you it's like some sort of I mean a dream could be anything you know I you could dream to be whatever like it could be anything a person your dream could be um a person it could be any anything anything so you're hiding your dreams you know because you don't want like the people around you you don't feel safe speaking about it too and you don't feel like you can like again you're dealing with someone here who again this person puts you in a five all the time and the reason this person puts you in a five is because you haven't like stood up to this person you haven't told this person you know well like basically fuck off you know or um that's not the way i see it and you haven't stood up for yourself so that's why you remain in a five until you stand up for yourself and what you desire it's like bet it's like betting on yourself basically if you cannot bet on yourself then you can't stand up to this person because this person is smart okay the queen of swords in reverse is smart it doesn't matter if it's a ma feminine or masculine it doesn't matter whatever this person is i mean this could even be your own subconscious i'm not getting that like you could be that type of person who talks negatively about yourself and puts yourself down all the time but i'm not getting that i'm getting it's a specific person that you don't have the confidence to talk about so until you have the confidence to speak up about what you want it's basically like if you can bet on yourself that this is something that you want to put work and effort into then you can't confront this person. So right now, I feel like we need to get you to that place where you have the confidence to even to speak about your dreams because you're not even at that point. That's why you're here at the five because until you have that confidence to put the money on yourself, to bet on yourself, it's like how much confidence do you have in yourself basically? Until you say to yourself, I have that confidence within that I don't care, um, I'm gonna go for it, then you can't confront this person, okay? So that's where we're at right now. I see I see you here as this emperor. And I see it's not only like that this there's people around you that might not you're not you're not comfortable telling your dreams to, but it's also um like you yourself. You don't give yourself enough credit. You don't give yourself Yeah, you don't give yourself enough credit. And I feel like the divine wants to know why that is. Like look within to understand why you don't give yourself enough credit. There's something unhealthy here about your you yourself and the way that you do things. You don't give you're sitting as an emperor. An emperor would never have any sort of doubt of like what they want um, and how they can achieve it. This is somebody who like can achieve anything. They're the emperor. You've literally mastered every single king. You've mastered the king of cup. You've mastered the king of fire. You mastered the king of swords, and you mastered the king of pentacles. All those kings combined create the emperor, and you're not in reverse. So I see that you're seeing things clearly. The divine is around you and you're you're like very clear on what you need to do. And I'm getting a lot about the story. This is like King Arthur, right? He's the only one that's able to pull the sword out of the stone, right? That's the story of King Arthur. And I'm getting here. It's like only you can do this for yourself because no one is going to believe in you <laughs> like like straight up. Nobody is going to be. I mean, I honestly feel like you already know that though like you've been having people bet against you your entire life you've been having people that you know want maybe even want you to fail so you're the only one that can pull the sword out and you do so i'm getting with this like you're the only person that can like achieve your dreams you're the only one <laughs> you're the only one that has like if you don't believe in yourself then you're super fucked because no one else is going to help you with this i'm telling you now um I feel like you're seeking support from everyone around you and this has to come from within just like king arthur pulls out the sword it's because it's destined it's because that sword only belonged to him do you know what i'm saying like no one else was going to be able to do it but him same with your problem now and that's what this whip is the whip is your own strength like do you have the strength within to bet on yourself so it's like you know you're betting on yourself and on your dreams do you have that strength to do that and it's not even to say that you won't fail <laughs> like it's not to say that you won't fail like um i remember hearing the story of this guy um he's one of the he's a youtuber and he was saying how like he did everything that he kept failing called to do and still at times it was failing and it was like it's a journey it's not like a one two three thing but i mean capricorn you're in the zodiac 
a sign you know capricorns are like the one of the hardest workers i would say virgo and capricorn if i had to say like who has a stronger work ethic i mean i hate to say because i'm a virgo but i would say capricorn <laughs> like capricorn gets shit done so i don't see anything that you try to do failing again um there's something that you want though for some of you guys i feel and look they're telling you that like the people around you are kind of lying to you with the ace of swords and reverse this is a lie and then you have the ace of swords upright so they're like trying to get you to seek the truth. What is the truth in the situation? The truth is like either you put the money on yourself and you bet on yourself and you work hard and you work your ass off with no support and you do what you need to do. The funny thing is that you have the support because spirit is coming up in the read. Like spirit's card is actually here in the read telling you that they're here for you. So it's kind of funny to me. It's like you feel alone maybe, but spirit is right here. And they're trying to tell you like, we're gonna help you. Ask us to help you and we'll help you. But you have to like, let them help you. You have to accept their help at the same time. What does that mean? Like asking them, speaking to them, telling them like, yeah, I really need help right now. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Or yeah, I really need help in like whatever I'm trying to achieve. Uh, yeah, I really need help. Some of you guys, you're trying to, you're, you're trying to go towards um, someone who's like, a pair to you you have the emperor and the empress so for some of you this involves love and i see you're feeling like you're not confident enough to go to this person and that's a lie because the truth is the truth is that the divine is with you and the divine is going to help you look at the hangman the hangman mode is when the divine places you here because you're not ready yet and I don't see you ready, Capricorn, only because you haven't pulled that confidence within to do it. Like, you have not pulled out that confidence to tell whoever this person is to fuck off. So you're not ready. This is like if people laugh at you, if people laughed at your idea, if people thought you were crazy, if people thought you were stupid, you would still do it anyway because you have that belief in yourself. So I see here you're not you're at that point where like you're deciding you're still deciding you're still deciding and I'm getting here the truth is that the divine has placed you in hangman mode from your dream because you're not ready in the sense that you have to claim it yourself you have to have that confidence within to be like I don't care what anybody says I'm gonna go for it you know so Capricorn I really see you having to like talk to the divine to talk to, and, and again they're telling you to go for a deep dive they're telling you to go deep within find out where it is within you this can be a whole thing about your like you're insecure you know you're insecure about your abilities meanwhile you're an emperor so i know that like you're not um i know this is all in your head like you're very much capable it's just do you believe in yourself to do this and the divine's like we're gonna keep you here in hangman mode until you see the truth so that's why you're still in a five. You're not moving because you haven't seen the truth. And the truth is that the divine wants you to see your potential. The divine's not gonna let this go. Like a dream doesn't just go away. A dream can put put itself into something else, but a dream is a dream. Do you know what I'm saying? So it's like you either want this or you don't. Until you don't want it anymore, then your your mind might go to a different thing or you, you might change direction. But there's still this like underlying theme of a dream, of something that you want that you're not getting yet and then again until you see the truth and the truth is that you're fully capable the truth is that you can do it the truth is that the only one that can be the like you have to be your number one supporter and the divine's gonna be there so you're at a challenge right now with the five it's a challenge the challenge is do you give up on this or do you go forward if you choose to go forward the divine's behind you even though maybe no one else is if you choose to like forget about this and not go forward they're telling you that you'll always have this regret one and two you're not it's not going to lead you to your wish fulfillment it will not be met by not going towards anything at all like let's just say you chose to just not do anything at all about it you'll always have that in your back of your mind so it's what you choose to do right now capricorn but i feel like they kept you here at a five they're keeping you at a hangman in the hangman position because they're really trying to get you to see the truth they don't want to they don't want you to give up on something uh especially like if people around you are telling you that it's that's not possible they want you to see that that's a lie again but where's your confidence in yourself Where, where's the belief in yourself that you can achieve whatever you need like I'm not seeing that here. The only thing that's proving to me that this is like something that you can do is that you are an emperor. <laughs> so yeah, I just don't, again, like King Arthur, the only one that can do it is you. The only one that can push through is you. There's no one else that can, again, the divine can guide you and help you. And if you ask them for aid, they'll help you. But only you can be the one to believe in yourself. So let's pull some advice.
So, uh, Capricorn, I'm going to read a little bit about these feminines because two came out. So I feel like they want to like really speak to you. And I think they're for two different purposes. For some of you guys, this is about romance. This dream is about a person, a person that you have in mind. Um, and for others of you, this is like a project. So let's talk about Saraswati because I feel like this is more for like someone who wants to obtain like some sort of project or somebody who has something in mind that's not really pertaining to like a relationship but pertaining more to something that they want to do. With Saraswati, the goddess of self-knowledge, the essence of who I am flows effortlessly into everything I create. When we are aligned with the essence of who we are, then what needs to be communicated through us, whether with words or music or art, can flow. When our creativity feels blocked or stagnant, it isn't because the waters have dried up. We might fear this, but the truth is that self-awareness is the key to unlocking our creative flow. Yeah, exactly. So the reason you're you're not blocked in hangman mode. Again, you're not in a you're not in a blocked state. You're stuck in this like position. You're not moving right now because it's not again because you're blocked. It's because the divine is like you have to see for yourself that like your creative flow is trying to call you into something like some to do something you're trying to be pushed into some sort of alignment that has to do with what your soul wants that has to do with what your creativity wants there's a flow that's like pushing you in a direction but until you know what the hell's going on you're going to be stuck here so that's what i'm getting for you guys again it's that exactly it's like until you see the truth you're you're stuck here the truth is that there is no block <laughs> that's the truth the truth is like if you want to walk up to that sword you'll be able to pull it out but it's like you're too scared to even go attempt to pull the sword out because you don't have that faith within yourself and they're trying to bring it to you they're telling you to realign yourself they're telling you again there's a lot about waterfalls with Saraswati and that you could be dealing with a Libra because this card reminds me of Libra but Libra is all about justice Libra is all about balance and there's something imbalanced within you. And I feel like it's that confidence. So again, they're putting you in hangman mode until you can re realign yourself to, I mean, it doesn't matter how much you tell me you're confident. I just see right here, you're not. And to, to a certain extent you are, and to a certain extent you're not. Like maybe you're very confident at like, it's like someone who's like super confident at like playing basketball, but then like you ask this person to play tennis and they're like, no, 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 I'm not. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? They're like, yeah, you might be confident in certain things, but in what you want to go towards, you're not. So that's what they're telling you. Like you have to push that confidence in everything that you do. Even if you're a novice, you can admit like, ah, I'm a novice. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. That doesn't matter. That, that there's something about being confident in doing it versus being very like afraid in doing it. And you'll get a different outcome for both. You know what I mean? Like being super confident and doing something will be a better, there will be a better result than being very like timid and scared. Do you know what I'm saying? Then you guys have Rabia, the queen of saintly women. I'm in service of divine love. I move the way love asks me to move. This tells me that like you're being called, like f you're very much within, you're being pulled to go somewhere. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're being pulled to do something. For some of you, again, it's approaching a partner. For It's approaching a person because you have a true pair here with the empress. For others of you, it's like a project. It's something that you want to do. They're telling you that you're being called to move in that way because that's what you desire that's what your body is like calling you to do your alignment your soul everything your creativity everything's pushing you in one direction so stop fighting it you see they're telling you to be at peace if you're at peace then you would feel at peace but you don't feel at peace right now because you're at this five and that's the conflict right now and the conflict is like can you stand up for yourself and your beliefs and what you want and go towards it when no one believes in you when everyone thinks that it's doomed for you or like when everyone's talking shit can you see the truth in all that bullshit that other people are telling you and again for some of you guys this is linked to romance this is linked to a certain person that you want in your life and i see here that you want that you with the lovers and the ten of cups this is a person that you desire <laughs> more than anything like you're a true pair you with the lovers and the ten of cups the ten of cups is like the happy home that you desire the happy life that you desire the right person for you and again anyone who tells you that this is not the right thing for you it's not the truth they're trying to tell you that clearly like this is a lie the ace of swords in reverse is a lie so again until you see the truth you're going to be stuck 
So if you want your life to go in a direction, if you want to start moving again, start to see the truth. What's the truth? The truth is that you're fully capable. The truth is like that only you can believe in yourself and get you to move forward. If you don't believe in yourself, then you're not going to get anywhere. So that's why I'm getting Capricorn for today's read. I love you guys. I hope this helps and I'll see you next time. Bye.